Ostwald dilution law. So let us take an example of a salt in aqueous solution which is in equilibrium with A positive and B negative. That means this is a weak salt, weak acid or weak base. Weak salt, weak acid or weak base. Because it's unionized form and ionized form, they are in equilibrium. So initially, let us start with concentration C. It has concentration C. That means it is 0, 0 in the beginning of the reaction. Now, at equilibrium, let us suppose alpha is the degree of dissociation. C is the molar concentration of the salt. Alpha is degree of dissociation. It means out of 1, alpha is dissociated. Out of 1, alpha dissociates. So out of C, C alpha is dissociated. If 1 AB is dissociated, we get 1 A plus 1 B negative. That means if C alpha dissociates, then it is C alpha, C alpha. According to law of equilibrium, equilibrium constant K is equal to concentration of A plus concentration of B negative divided by concentration of AB. Equus it means it is C alpha into C alpha divided by C minus C alpha. C alpha into C alpha divided by C 1 minus alpha. 1 C is cancelled. So we get C alpha square over 1 minus alpha. Now for weak electrolytes, Alpha is very very less than 1. As alpha is very very less than 1, 1 minus alpha is very close to 1. That means alpha can be neglected as compared to 1. So it means equilibrium constant K is equal to C alpha square. So this alpha square equal to K over C that implies alpha is equal to square root of K over C and if V is the volume containing one mole of electrolyte means C is equal to, what is C? Number of moles over volume. So number of moles is 1 divided by V. This is the V volume containing 1 mole of electrolyte. So that implies alpha equal to square root of K into V. So this is Ostwald's dilution law. Now this equilibrium constant for weak electrolytes and this equilibrium constant for the electrolyte is known as dissociation or ionization constant. So this is dissociation or ionization constant of electrolyte. That means Ostwald dilution law is defined as in case of weak electrolytes degree of dissociation alpha is inversely proportional to square root of molar
मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन और डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ वॉल्यूम विच कंटेन्स वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑस्टवर्ड डेल्यूशन लॉ दिस इज ऑस्टवर्ड डेल्यूशन लॉ दैट इन केस ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन और डिग्री ऑफ आयोनाइजेशन अल्फा इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन और डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ वॉल्यूम बी कंटेनिंग वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और एन एसिड आयोनाइजेशन कॉन्स्टेंट इज के सो अल्फा इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ के ए ओवर सी This is called K is ionization constant of acid. For a base, ionization constant is Kb. So alpha is square root of Kb over C. Ostwald dilution law is applicable for weak electrolytes only. In case of strong electrolytes. no equilibrium is present that's why we cannot apply this law for strong electrolytes thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel god bless you all happy learning